Assalamu alaikum. This is your brother Majid Mahmoud recording for the daily reminder. Brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described in the Quran the level of hardship and fear that takes place on Yawm al-Qiyamah. For example, Allah said, Yawmain yaja'alul wildana shiba, the day in which the hair of the child turns white. Allahu Akbar. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also said an authentic hadith, Yu'ta bi jahannam yawma idh, jahannam will be brought forth on that day attached to it 70,000 chains or 70,000 handles. Every chain is being pulled by 70,000 angels which makes it 4.9 billion angels pulling and dragging jahannam showing how harsh and fierce it is. Allahu Akbar. And many many more signs the sun descends one mile only above our heads and the people will be sweating right and left some to their knees some to their belly button and some more and more and some will be drowning from their own sweat and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also said the following ayah in the Quran please pay attention may Allah protect me and you from every hardship on that day I mean Rabbil Alameen listen to the verse Subhanallah brothers and sisters, wouldn't you want someone to help you, to support you, to intercede for you on this very difficult day? Don't we say, Allahumma ajirna min adhab al nar, oh Allah protect us from the punishment of the hellfire whenever we hear a hadith or a verse that talks about it? Well, from Allah's blessings upon us, He allowed us opportunities where we can gain some serious intercession and support. And one of the best means ever is when Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, He personally intercedes for you. But I'm not famous. I don't have that many followers on Twitter and likes on Facebook. Doesn't matter. You're from Umm Muhammad? Naam. You believe in the Allah Muhammad Rasulullah? Naam. Are you about to make that dua which you're about to learn in this video? Insha'Allah. Okay, then pay attention. How do we receive the intercession of the Prophet? By saying the following dua after hearing the adhan. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said an authentic hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari. Man qala hina yasma' nida Whoever says the following after hearing the call of adhan, the call of prayer, what do we say? Allahumma rabba hadihi da'wat al O oh Allah, the Lord of this perfect call. Wassat al-qa'ima. And the Lord of the prayer that is about to be established. Ati Muhammadin al-wasila wa al-fadila. O oh Allah, grant Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Al-wasila. Al-wasila is that location in Jannah which the Prophet already said in another hadith that is authentic. Al-wasila is a location where only one person can enter. A very noble place. May Allah grant Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to be that one person that enters the Amin Rabbil Alameen. And afterwards we say, وَبَعَثُهُ مَقَامًا مَحْمُودًا الَّذِي وَعَدْتَ And oh Allah grant the Prophet Muhammad Sallam, resurrect him with that status that is so praiseworthy which you have already promised. What's that status? Where Rasulullah Sallam intercedes for all of the beings for Yawm Al-Qiyamah to begin. Allahu Akbar. The Prophet said, whoever says that dua, one more time. Allahumma rabba hadihi al-da'wati al-tamah, wassalati al-qa'imah, ati Muhammadin al-wasilata wal-fadilah, وبعثه مقاما محمودا الذي وعدته what will happen حلت له شفاعتي يوم القيامة I will intercede for them يوم القيامة الله أكبر so you might be a person who has some seriously major sins the Prophet intercedes for يوم القيامة you will not be punished for these major sins الله أكبر you might be a person whom your good deeds and your bad deeds are equal the Prophet intercedes you enter Jannah no need to filter the sins in Jahannam that's it sins are forgiven because of the Prophet's intercession you might be a person who is already in Jannah why would the Prophet intercede for you to be elevated in Jannah perhaps even go to Firdaus al-A'la because of the Prophet's intercession so brothers and sisters after you hear the Adhan, sometimes you might want to come to the masjid a little early. Ramadan is coming, right? So come a few minutes early to hear the Adhan. Afterwards, instead of talking here and there and chat, I'm not saying it's haram. Rather, don't lose the opportunity where you can gain the intercession of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi on that very difficult day. Do your best to say it. Do your best to apply it as much as possible. May Allah allow you to memorize it. Ameen Rabbil Alameen. Brothers and sisters, feel free to press like. And make sure the most important part is for you to share the video with your friends and family. May Allah make you means of others to gain the intercession of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Barakallahu feekum. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.